So guys, for the first step, you're gonna get into this screen. I'm gonna show you two ways on how to get here. And now for the first way, if it lets you log onto Windows, then you wanna head over to search and type in reset this PC, click on it. And then once you're on this next advanced startup, you wanna click on restart now, and then click on restart now again. It's now gonna take you into that screen. And now for the second way, if you cannot sign into Windows, then you wanna turn off your computer from the power button, then you wanna turn it on again. You wanna repeat this three times. So you wanna turn off your computer from the power button, turn it back on again, as soon as it turns on, you want to turn it off and then turn it back on again. Repeat this three times, and then on the fourth time when you do it, it will then take you into this screen. It's going to say that your PC did not start correctly, you want to click on Advanced Options. And then once you're on this, I'm going to be showing you some methods on how we can fix this problem. So for the first method, you want to click on Troubleshoot, Advanced Options. We're going to go with Start to Repair. If you do not have Start to Repair, you want to click on Seam Recovery Options. Then it should appear right here. So you want to click on Start to Repair. It's now going to start diagnosing your PC, wait for this to load. Hopefully this would have fixed your problem. If it did not fix your problem though, we're going to click on Advanced Options. And now for the second method, we're going to go with Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, and then System Restore. If you have a Restore Point enabled on your computer, then you want to click on Next, and then go back to your Restore Point. This should then fix your problem. If you do not have one, that's fine, we're going to click on Cancel. And now for the next method, you want to click on Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, and then Command Prompt. And then once you're on this, we're going to type in bootrec space forward slash fix mbr. Click on enter. And now we're going to type in bootrec space forward slash rebuild bcd. Click on enter again. And now we're going to type in sfc space forward slash scan now. And I click on enter. Then you want to run this scan. Wait for this to load. And then once that's been 100% complete, you just want to close out of this, continue to Windows, and then the problem should be fixed.